I'm waiting for Mark to come home. We're supposed to go on a date tonight to Staples and Home Depot, I think. The state of our life right now is directly behind me. A patio set not put away and it's and maybe a can from the summer. I'm surprised it's actually upright still. It's been some heavy wind. A fence that got destroyed that has not got cleaned up. Today's been busy. We, uh, Marty and I actually vaccinated a group of you lambs. I moved them over to the coverall. I finished them in our uh, finishing barn across the road. And then I bring them back over after they've had their two vaccinations of Tazvax in that barn. I usually like to do that around 12 weeks and 16 weeks and then bring them over after that. But because this fall's been crazy, they've stayed over there a little longer. So they're, they were pretty big lambs coming over. through my new handling system, which oh, I don't even know why. All it was was a few new panels and a new tub. The tub I really didn't need, I don't think, but the tub is cool. It's got a door that kind of, um, you open it to let the use in and the door actually kind of rolls on a, on a pulley and, and then it kind of gets in behind them again and you can, you can turn it, turn it around again. So that's slick. I also bought a few new guillotine gates so they can't go backwards. Like I can, I can put four in every section and then they can't go backwards. I was always moving back and forth and bending needles and getting mad and swearing like more than usual. So the thing with that new handling system is the sides, the top panel, which is a bar and the old ones, they were permanent. So they cut me in half and I'd be upside down trying to get used. So that is brilliant. Handling systems, I tell ya, it will save a marriage, it will save your sanity, and it will save your bones because sheep don't like to be handled. The vaccine that we gave today, my, use, use can kind of spread bugs very easily. All my ewe lambs, my protocol is I hit them at six weeks before breeding. I hit them with their first dose of a chlamydia vaccine. Yes, that's right. My sheep can get the clap. A little bit different than human clap. It will cause abortion. So it's a nasty, dirty little um, pregnancy bug that ewes can pick up and I don't know how I got it. But the problem with the way I got my sheep in the first place is I bought them from here and there and everywhere. So you're never quite sure what has what, and you don't know what each animal is kind of inoculated to. So it's almost like a daycare. You bring them all together and then they, they all share everything, everything, good and bad. Well now just for protocol, I automatically just vaccinate mine. Um, and then that will save if, they're, if they do pick up chlamydia for whatever reason, through placenta, through whatever, the vaccine, they will build their immunity so they will fight it. If not, that's when you have to start relying on antibiotics. So in my barn, I'm trying to get on, I work with my vet very closely and I'm trying to get on more of a vaccination program to prevent these things instead of relying on antibiotics. That was today's protocol. So Marty and I worked away at that.
this group is two mils of that chlamydia vaccine and I will come back in about four weeks and do that that vaccination one more time and then they are good to go they're good to get bread it's delicious. that is what we did today i hope you found that informative thanks for watching these vlogs and for anyone new i've had a, quite a few subscribers lately uh so thanks for joining me thanks for um commenting and asking questions because it actually gives me really good ideas for vlogs that what to film and what to talk about so mark hurry up because now i'm getting hungry is that the neighbors gavin see everybody